Welcome back to Urban Dictionary Readings. Are you ready to learn some more pointless terms? Well, here we go. <clears throat> Body booking. Someone who is constantly posting pictures on Facebook of themselves in some swimsuits and workout clothes to show everyone how hot they are. Also paired with constant status updates about fruits, vegetables, juicing, working out, going to Whole Foods, and posting articles about these topics. This generally annoys the shit out of others, and there are never any comments on the posts except for the person's SO, who is equally obsessed and annoying. Gee, I sure am enjoying this green apple care protein shake before my 50 mile bike ride in the mountains with my hot boyfriend. Oh baby, it's gonna be a great day. Can you make some of that veggie soup later? Stop body booking and go eat some goddamn cheese fries! Mitt Romney money. One that has money beyond that of a normal baller, yet pays less taxes than a street pharmaceutical rep or an illegal immigrant. Who that new Lex he be driving? He must got that Mitt Romney money. I sure wish I could have some Mitt Romney money. Cock blocked by Steve Jobs. The act or reactive measure when the opposite sex makes eye contact with you and then proceeds to plug in their iPod as a defense mechanism to prevent you from making a move on them. I saw this girl in the bus and was getting hit on her, then she busted at her iPod. Aw oh, man, you got cock blocked by Steve Jobs. You know what, you should probably actually write that defense mechanism down. Not just for gross people like Josh and Sam that just want to, you know, do the nasty, but like, for annoying people in general. Bedgasm. A feeling of complete and utter euphoria which peaks when climbing into a bed at the end of an 18-hour workday, a long road trip, or hours of extremely strenuous physical activity. Under perfect conditions, the physical release has been likened to that of an intense sexual experience. It was a three-hour drive in the middle of the night. I could barely stay awake. When I got home, I climbed out of the covers and had a ten-minute badgasm. Oh, God, yes. Bachelor sip. To put your head under the faucet for a drink to avoid using a glass. God, that... Imagining that hurts my neck. Bed gravity. An irresistible force that draws you back to bed or toward any mattress, couch, or other soft horizontal surface. Usually stronger when one or more persons are already on said furniture. Name shame. The point at which it's too late to ask for someone's name because you spent so much time around them that you should already know it. Eater's remorse. The deep feeling of regret one feels after eating a large sum of food, eating something unhealthy, or just eating in general. What? That's a thing? I just eat food and be happy. Internest. The cocoon of blankets, pillows, duvets, and comfy things you gather around yourself to keep warm whilst spending long amounts of time on the internet. Not during the summer. Too hot. Asshole. Someone who asks many stupid, pointless, obnoxious questions. I know a lot of those kind of people. Bro, some of <laughs> what? A best friend that you never see. He's always hiding or just at home. Oh fuck, that's me. That is a mood. California, no. Oh god. Okay. The way rejection tends to be handled by Californians, who are sunny in disposition and less brusque than East Coast residents. Instead of bluntly saying no, Californians say no by avoiding the question forgetting to respond to emails, and generally postponing the issue. The best way to give a California no is to do nothing at all, as opposed to saying it outright. That's one way, but I'm pretty sure there's another way of saying a California no, and it also pairs with a California yes. The other way of saying California no is yeah, no, and a California yes is no yes. My friends in LA, why are you so confusing? <laughs>